Sitting in class and we want to make a ping pong ball catapult. But how are we going to write the functions for that catapult? We really look at two functions. One of them, we look at time compared to height. As we launch the catapult, the ping pong ball comes up and it comes back down. Time being zero here and let's say it spent two seconds in the air. So if that's the case, we know we have the function h of t equals a t squared plus b t plus c. But we had an initial height of zero because we shot it off the ground. So c is zero. We know that a, whenever we look at the time and height, follows the gravitational constant and that's negative 16. So now h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus b t, we need to solve for b. If we know it reached two seconds and the height was zero, we could plug that coordinate of two zero in for t and h of t and allow us to solve for b. So now it's zero equals negative 16 times t squared, which is two, plus b times two. 2 squared is 4, we get negative 64 there, plus 2b. We then get 64 equals 2b, and b equals 32. Now, my function would represent h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 32t. But now we need to go and look at the position function. So what now we want to see is we want to see if we shot it in the air, almost like if we were looking at the side, what the height and the distance was to figure out how far it went. Well, let's say we measured it and it went 32 feet. I need to now write the function. We're going to call this p of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So what do we know? We know the initial height is zero still. So p of x equals ax squared plus bx. We can take 32, make the coordinate 32, 0, plug this in, 0 equals a times 32 squared plus b times 32. 32 squared is 1024. So 1024a plus 32b. If we divide everything by 32, it comes out to be 0 equals 32a plus b, or b equals negative 32a. So I can write the relationship, but I still need to figure out what a and b are. Well, let's go back to our first graph. What was the vertex? So I knew at one second, because that's half of the total time, it reached its maximum height. I can now plug one into my function to find what the height was. So f of one is negative 16 times one squared plus 32 times one gives me negative 16 plus 32 or 16 feet. So I reached a maximum height of 16 feet. Well, that can come back to here. So I know 16 is my maximum height. The distance that it went when it reached a height of 16 is half of 32, which is also 16. So let's take those and plug this point in to solve. So now it's 16 equals a times 16 squared plus b times 16. 16 squared is 256. Now we divide everything by 16. 1 equals 16a plus b and we get now b equals 1 minus 16a. Here's my two equations.
both have b, if I set these terms equal to each other, because they both equal b, negative 32a equals 1 minus 16a, I now get a is negative 1 16th. So now if I need b, I can come back over here, substitute it in, 1 minus 16 times negative 1 16th equals b. I get 1 minus, which is negative 16 over 16, 1 plus 1, b is 2. So our equation, our function is now p of x equals negative 1 16th x squared plus 2x to represent my position function of the ping pong ball.